Another cup of Maxwell House coffee, George? Sure. Pour me a cup, Gracie. You know, Maxwell House is always good to the last <laughs> drop. And that drop's good, too. Yes, it's Maxwell House Coffee Time, starring George Burns and Gracie Allen. With our special guest tonight, Meredith Wilson, B. Benaderet, Hans Conried, Gail Gordon, Harry Lubin and the Maxwell House Orchestra, Bill Goodwin, and yours truly, Toby Ray. For America's Thursday night comedy enjoyment, it's George and Gracie. And for America's everyday coffee drinking enjoyment, it's Maxwell House. Always good to the last drop. <laughs> As we join the Burnses tonight, we find them discussing the gala New Year's Eve party they're planning for tomorrow. Gracie, we're going to have the greatest New Year's Eve party in town. Mm, you bet we are. Money is no object. I've hired an orchestra. You did? Yeah, and on New Year's Eve, musicians really come high. And they leave even higher. <laughs> uh, what about the food? Did you take care of that? Mm-hmm, I bought two turkeys. Oh, and I hired a maid to pass around the hors d'oeuvre. This is really going to be some party. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I bought champagne. You did? Uh-huh. And at midnight, we'll fill our glasses and drink bottoms up. Isn't that an awkward position? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it'll spoil my hat. <laughs> you know, darling, with an orchestra tomorrow night, you'll be able to sing your very best. Ah, oh, no. People don't want to hear me sing. Oh, they do, too. And sometime before the party, be sure to learn that new popular song, Drop Dead. <laughs> a popular song called Drop Dead? Sure. Well, there must be. At every sociable, when you get up to sing, you say, oh, what would you like me to do when everybody oh, else... Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's that big hit. Oh, Drop Dead, oh, Drop Dead, oh, Drop Dead. <laughs> you are the ideal of my dreams. Yes. Is that how Oh, yeah, that's how right, good. Uh, by the way, uh, how many guests are coming? Oh, I must have sent out 20 or 30 invitations. Mm. I invited a lot of old friends we haven't seen for a while. Meredith Wilson, Good. Professor Korkendorfer. Wonderful. Gracie, you've really worked hard to make this party a success. I'm going to give you a kiss. Well, thank you. And tomorrow night, New Year's Eve, you'll get another one. Gee, two kisses in one year. <laughs> got the one on your birthday. Oh. That was a big one, too. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I hope everyone shows up for the party. I haven't had any replies to the invitations I sent out. Well, did you say RSVP? Of course not. I said, come to the party. <laughs> Besides, you don't have to spell things for me. RSVP. If you want to say Russ Voop, just say it. <laughs> RSVP is not Russ Voop. Yeah. Oh, she, uh, Come in. Howdy, little lady. Howdy, little man. Why, Mr. Judson, what a wonderful surprise. George, look who's here. Say hello to our dear friend from Texas. How do you Come do? Come in and sit down, Mr. Judson. Well, thank you. First, I'll wipe off my boots. I don't want to get this dust on your rug. Oh, what a gentleman. You're wiping your boots with a clean handkerchief just to save my rug. No, ma'am, to save the dust. It's from Texas. <laughs> After I shave, I, I use it for talcum. Oh. Well, George, why don't you speak to Mr. Judson? How do you well, do? Well, tell Mr. us all about yourself, Mr. Judson. Why haven't you been to see us? Well, my family's been in mourning, ma'am. Oh? Yeah, terrible tragedy. My sister. Young, pretty, never sick a day in her life. You mean... Yeah. She got married and moved to Oklahoma. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. George, do you realize you haven't spoken to Mr. Judson? How it's do you not do that he isn't glad to see you, Mr. Judson. He's just shy. By the way, what brings you to California after all these months? Well, now, I brought some fine Texas steers up here for the stock show. Oh, that reminds me, i got to get back to my hotel and feed them. You keep the steers in your hotel room? Oh, why, sure, sure. Don't you get complaints? Yeah. Yeah, them steers boil their heads off, but it's the best hotel you got. 
Well, I, I'll be mosey. You're now. not budging until my husband has the decency to speak to you. George, we're waiting. How do you do? <laughs> Is that any way to speak? Now, do it right. How oh, you you'll do? have to excuse him, Mr. Justin. He's, he's got his mind on the big New Year's Eve party we're giving tomorrow night. Invite Mr. Judson to the party, George. George? Jo- he's gone. Uh, yes, ma'am. He, he stepped into the next room. Well, here, I'll give you one of the printed invitations I sent out. I had one left over, so I put it in this drawer, just in case, you know. Uh, oh, oh, my goodness. Well, what's the matter, little lady? You sound distressed. Oh, I am. Here are all the invitations to our New Year's Eve party. I forgot to mail them. <laughs> oh, George will be furious. Yeah, yeah, he'll bellow like a short-tailed steer in fly time. <laughs> I'd better hurry out and, and see all the guests personally and beg them to come to our party. You'll come, won't you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but i got to get back to the ranch and help my wife. Uh, the hogs has been slaughtered, and by now she's probably smoking sausages. Oh, I hope she doesn't inhale. <laughs> You hope she doesn't in here. <laughs> oh, I like your sense of humor, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. But, Bill, you've just got to come to our New Year's Eve party tomorrow night. The Mortons and Bagleys can't make it, and Professor Korkendorfer has other plans, too. Well, so have I, Gracie. I promised to go to a party at Helen Burkett's house. Uh, we're going to do a little smooching. Well, uh, couldn't you come to our party for a while? Well, no, I'll be tied up all evening. Tied up? You won't have much fun if you can't use your hands. <laughs> no, Gracie, I mean, it's a date I can't break. You know, it's a, it's a real thrill to spend New Year's Eve with Hollywood's most... Glamorous blonde. Yeah, well, I guess it is. Well, sure, I can't rob the poor girl of that thrill. Oh, gee, I wish you'd change your mind. <laughs> Bill, we're going to have two turkeys and George will sing. That's three turkeys. <laughs> but I still have to turn you down, Gracie. Your invitation comes too late. Well, I better hurry along and try to get the other people. If this party doesn't come off tomorrow night, George may get so mad he'll walk out on me. He- he'll leave me to starve. Well, don't worry. After he's starved a while, he'll come back. Oh, but Mrs. Vandal, if we've paid for the food and musicians, and George's heart will be broken if no one comes to the party. I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Burns, but Chester and I plan to spend New Year's Eve with the Butterworths of Pasadena. We're friends of long standing. If you come to our party, you can sit down. <laughs> no, we shall sit down. We shall sit before the fireplace and toast each other. Oh, come to our house. We're using marshmallows. <laughs> we'll drink the toast in champagne. I love champagne. It makes me want to get up and dance, and the bubbles tickle my nose. <laughs> when you dance, you better not hold your bubble that high. <laughs> Well, I, I guess when you've had a few too many, you don't know what you're doing. We will not get loaded, intoxicated. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Vandalip, please say you'll come to our party. If you don't, I'll have to go home and face a horrible disaster. Well, wish him a happy new year for me. <laughs> Well, Meredith Wilson is my last chance. I hope he's home. Hello, all. Meredith, how are you? <laughs> Meredith, you were supposed to get a beautiful invitation to our New Year's Eve party, but I forgot to mail it. Well, that probably accounts for my failure to receive it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm inviting you right now. You've just got to come. It means so much to George. Oh, I'm afraid I have previous plans for tomorrow night, Gracie. I'm proposing to a lovely young creature, just the type I've always wanted to marry, a girl. (laughs) Meredith, must you propose to this girl? George will be so disappointed. 
Why? I've never given him any encouragement. <laughs> no, I mean, he'll be disappointed if you don't come. Can't you propose at our party? Oh, no, I fear that's too public. Besides, I've promised to kneel before the very sofa on which her father proposed to her mother. Oh, did she accept him? <laughs> I presume so. Uh, uh, do her folks approve of you, Meredith? Oh, yes. Her entire family has taken me to their, if you'll pardon the expression, bosom. <laughs> How nice. It's unfortunate that your party isn't tonight, Gracie, as my betrothed is working and I'm quite free. Yes, if tonight were only New Year's Eve, all the people I invited could come and that Meredith, I've got it. What? I'll make tonight New Year's Eve. Well, have a care, Gracie. You are assuming powers greater than those of Patrillo. <laughs> I mean, I'll make George think it's New Year's Eve. But that's 24 hours away. That's the idea. He's going to bed early tonight, so I I'll get all the guests over and wake George up and tell him he slept 24 hours. That's a brilliant idea. Gracie, no one else has a brain like you. Except possibly me. Mm-hmm. We do make a great team. We're like those congressmen who support each other in Washington. When we put our heads together, it's a solid block. <laughs> Only one more day, friends, and Old Man 1948 will be ready for the history books. There's a grand song that's part and parcel of this New Year's season, an age-old favorite. But now let's see if you name it after hearing only the mellow harmony. We'll help you out by adding the rich counter melody. And now to add the rhythm with good Scotch vigor. You'll be able to join in the chorus yourself as we blend in the full-bodied melody. Yes, it's the ever-popular Auld Lang Syne, a heartwarming favorite you've enjoyed many times when all of its fine musical parts are expertly blended in a full, rounded orchestration. And friends, it takes the same expert skill in blending to create the famous heartwarming flavor that has made Maxwell House America's favorite brand of coffee. Yes, Maxwell House is famous for flavor. Superb, good-to-the-last drop flavor no other coffee offers you. This mellow, deeply satisfying flavor is created by combining not one, but many choice varieties of coffee from the highlands of Latin America. First, Manizales coffees are selected for mellowness. Next, Medellins add richness. Other choice coffees give vigor. And Bucaramanga's coffees are added for fine, full body. This perfectly balanced Maxwell House blend is then radiant roasted to flavor perfection and brought to you vacuum-packed and roaster fresh. And because you folks on the West Coast really know and enjoy coffee at its best, Maxwell House is blended and roasted for you right here on the West Coast to satisfy your critical tastes. So tomorrow and all the year ahead, enjoy the extra flavor, the extra satisfaction that's yours in every cup of America's favorite brand of coffee, Maxwell House Coffee. Always good to the last drop. Everybody, 
are enough people here to get the party started. Oh, sure, Gracie. Well, does everybody know everybody else? Meredith, you haven't met the Vandalips. How do you do, Mr. Rosen? How do you do? It's always a pleasure to widen my acquaintances. Thank you. By that, I mean I enjoy meeting new people. I'm sure that you and your wife are wide enough. (laughs) Well, I like that. Oh, I knew you'd get along. Now, uh, uh, put on your paper hats, everyone, and I'll go in and wake George and tell him it's New Year's Eve. Well, how long has he been in bed? Oh, about 15 minutes. Well, maybe he's still awake. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. He was lying on his tummy, and that way he usually rocks himself to sleep. (laughs) Now, I'll wake him up, and the party can start. Happy New Year! What's it? What was that? It's New Year's Eve, dear. It's New Year's Eve? This is this is Thursday. No, nah, no, nah, dear, it's Friday. You slept for twenty four hours. Are you going out of your mind? Get out of bed. The guests are here for the party. Guests? Well, sure. Listen. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Get dressed, dear. I must be dreaming. Hand me my robe. Here. I don't believe this. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. I feel like I only slept a few minutes. You slept 24 hours, you sleepyhead, you naughty boy. 24 hours? Why didn't you wake me? Oh, I didn't have the heart, darling. You were so tired. Funny thing is, I still am. (laughs) Now, the the, the guests are waiting. Come on, I'll help you out of your nightshirt. Close your eyes. Close my eyes? My nose is shiny. (laughs) I feel so tired. Oh, here's George. Now the party can start. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Blow your horn, George. Uh. (laughs) Having a good time? Yeah, fine, fine. (laughs) 24 hours, and I'm still tired. (laughs) Yes, George slept for 24 hours. He's a regular Rip Van Wrinkle. That's uh, that's Winkle. I like it her way. (laughs) Now, uh, before we start the entertainment, Tallulah will pass the hors d'oeuvre. Tallulah, stop trying to date Bill Goodwin. Why, Mrs. Burns, such a thought never crossed my mind. As sure as my name is Tallulah Schwartz. Hollywood 5264. <laughs> All right. Pat the order. Oh, if you mean the weenies, they ain't burled yet. Well, please go and burl them. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, while we're waiting for the hors d'oeuvre, Meredith Wilson will play a flute solo. Well, good. That's well. Well, thank you. Uh, gentlemen of the orchestra, may I please have an introduction to the Andante Cantabile from Sigourney Weizen? <laughs> I forgot to bring my flute. (laughs) Well, we won't let that spoil our fun. Happy New Year, everybody. Oh, oh, isn't this gay, George? George, wake up. Huh? You're not enjoying yourself. Here, blow your little horn, dear. Uh. (laughs) Now we're rolling. I'm so tired, I can't understand it. Well, here is Professor Korkendorf, huh? Oh? I guess I'm too early. There's nobody here yet. Let's show him, gang. Happy New Year! Somebody spoke? Yes, Professor, everyone's here. Now hang up your coat and join the party. Oh, yeah, I hang it up here on this nice long hook. Take your coat off my nose. <laughs> Can't you see? Of course I can see. I got ice like a hog. <laughs> So long, Professor. Where have you been? Oh, I-, I was experimenting with a little monkey, and I couldn't bear myself away. Oh, interesting work, huh? No, no, no. Strong monkey. <laughs> George! <laughs> George, look who's here. George. George, wake up. <gasps> oh, you're not having fun, dear. Blow your little horn. <laughs> Say hello 
calls you Professor Cockendorfer. Okay. 24 hours as I slept and I'm bushed. Well, look who's here, Professor. The monkey followed me? <laughs> Such a nice girl to marry a monk. <laughs> oh, fine. Well, now that all the guests have arrived, Tallulah, pass the hors d'oeuvre. Okay. I got your weenies here. They're red hot. Weenies, anybody? Schultz and Newman's weenies. They're skinless. She means the weenies. Schultz and Newman both have skin. <laughs> have a weenie, Bill. Oh, thanks, Tallulah. What's the good word? Hollywood 5264. <laughs> all right. And now it's time for games. Uh, you can play, too, Tallulah. Oh, much obliged, I'm sure. Well, uh, I would like to suggest a game. It's, it's called Word Association. Well, how's it played, Mr. Vanderlip? Well, we stand in a circle, and someone says a word, then the next person says whatever word that reminds them of, and so on around. Now, let's make a circle. Mrs. Burns, may I have your hand? No, I'm already married. <laughs> I only want to hold it. Uh, now, come on, everyone. Uh, uh, you take my hand, Professor Korkendorfer. Oh, Sure. My, you got such hot fingers. Get your hand out of the weenie. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Now, if anyone says a word that doesn't fit, they must leave the circle and go into the next room. All right, we'll start with the uh, gems. Diamond. Zafaya. You're next, George. Wake up. Huh? Uh, oh, you're not having fun, dear. Blow your little horn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll start again, and we'll skip your husband. Diamond. Zafaya. Ruby. Coil. Emerald. Maxwell House coffee. <laughs> That's a gem. Oh, you said it, brother. <laughs> what a coffee, rich, delicious, mellow. Only Maxwell House gives you that good-to-the-last-drop flavor. Mr. Goodwin, we are all aware that Maxwell House is delicious, but you cannot mention it unless someone else says a word that legitimately suggests coffee. Oh, oh, I see. Well, let's start again, then. Uh, Diamond. Zafaya. <laughs> Ruby. Pile. Emerald. Donut. Donut? Thank you, <laughs> Maxwell House coffee. <laughs> Donut without Maxwell House, that rare blend of the choice Latin American coffees, radiant roasted to the peak of flavor perfection. Mr. Goodwin, go into the next room. Okay. Uh, now we'll start again with another category. Uh, England. Austria. Sweden. Maxwell House coffee. Why did you say Maxwell House coffee? I want to go in the other room with Bill Goodwin. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we try vegetables as a category? Uh, lettuce. All right, what's stopping us? <laughs> I was naming a vegetable. Lettuce. Rudebega. Corn. Maxwell House coffee. You too? I want to go in and see what Bill and Tallulah are doing. <laughs> Well, that does it. The game's over. Maxwell House coffee. We're not playing anymore. Who's playing? I want some Maxwell House coffee. <laughs> it's so delicious. Oh, say, that's a good idea. I'll go make some. Have fun while I'm gone, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Are you having fun, George? <laughs> Hear a song from the most talented member of the Burns family. <clears throat> oh, that that's a swell idea. Sing for us, Gracie. <laughs> oh, no, I don't mean me. Besides, I, I'm not a good singer. Huh? Oh, you're swell, Gracie. Oh, I'm not. Huh? <laughs> oh, really, Gracie, you're an excellent vocalist. Oh, I'm terrible. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look, would you like to hear from me? Yeah, blow your little horn. Please. It's not the island's fair that a 
calling to me. Not the balmy air, nor the tropical sea. It's a little brown gal in a little brass skirt, in a little brass shack in Hawaii. It isn't Waikiki, nor Kamehameha's Polly, nor the Beach Boys Free with that whole Molly Molly. It's a little brown gal in a little brass skirt, in a little brass shack in Hawaii. Through that island wonderland, she's broken all the Connie's heart. It's not hard to understand, for that Wahine is a gal of part. And even soon, the thrill I'll enjoy, it's not the island moon, the fish or the poi. It's a little brown gal in a little brass skirt, in a little brass shack in Hawaii. of our party. Everyone be real quiet, and, and we'll hear from my husband, Sugar Throat Bernie. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, the poor darling, he's sound asleep. Sh- shall I wake him up so he can sing? No, no. Oh. Well, then I guess the party is over. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. <laughs> Where am I? Gracie! See, everybody's gone. I can't get over it. 24 hours sleep and I couldn't stay awake at my own party. Well, I better get my Rose Bowl tickets out of this drawer. Got to start early in the morning. Holy smoke, what's this? All the invitations to a New Year's Eve party. Gracie didn't mail them. What goes on here? Hello, operator. Hello, operator. Operator, tell me, is this New Year's Eve? No, I'm not plastic. <laughs> it isn't? That's tomorrow night? Thanks. So the whole thing was one of her tricks, huh? Well, here's where I get even. Good. She's sound asleep. Happy Fourth of July! <laughs> <laughs> It's the 4th of July. You've been asleep six months. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, how wonderful. Now I can go out and buy all new summer clothes. <laughs> For me, nothing else. Now here again are George and Gracie. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, George and I want to wish you all a very, very happy new year. Blow your little horn, dear. I can't, dear. I swallowed it. <laughs> Gracie, I've got a surprise for you. Next Thursday, our guest star will be Gregory Peck. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I'll feel kind of silly standing alongside of a big, handsome guy like Peck next Thursday. Oh, don't worry, George. You'll have something he won't have. What? All the straight lines. <laughs> The easy way. You like good things the easy way? Then get instant Maxwell House coffee. So good. So good. True coffee flavor and fragrance because instant Maxwell House is not a so-called coffee product. It's all pure Maxwell House coffee in instant form. And so easy. So easy. Instant Maxwell House means great coffee instantly in your cup. No fuss, no muss, no bother. Today, try Instant Maxwell House, instantly good to the last drop. Until next Thursday, when our special guest will be Gregory Peck, good night and good luck and a happy new year from the makers of Maxwell House, America's favorite brand of coffee. Always good to the last drop. Meredith Wilson appears through the courtesy of the Jell-O family.